Final part. All right. Hopefully. 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 Those those mechanoids have always confused me. They're just walking screwdrivers. Yes. Like they I feel like that's really something I would see in a classic game, not X. Well, I guess it, cl this was before X became darker, so it was still more It still had some uh, cartoonish elements. I don't I know, nice. man. It's pretty much even in the any even in the Super Nintendo games, it's pretty much flat out stated that you're killing these guys in cold blood. Remember, oh, so the Reploids? reason why I left was because it would have crushed me. I would have made it in time. Reploids have free will. I guess so, to be fair, it's not necessarily cold blood. So well, then, then, least... then again, you know, just because something is more serious doesn't mean it can't have more lighthearted elements. No, I mean, just, but ju I just would look say... at Final Fantasy. People say it's a really serious game, but it's like it's it's kind of overly ridiculous at times. It has Chocobo. Chocobo racing. Yeah. When Yuffie threatened Cloud to cross tell dresses. the guys off. What, when, uh... Not, not when Yuffie. You... Uh, Aerith threatened Aerith. to ch choke the guys Is it off. Aerith or Aeris? Aerith. Okay, it's Aerith. Basically... Because okay. I'm probably... curious uh, where the Aeris thing comes from. I believe that's a mystery. Yeah, okay. okay. Basically, in the original Seven, originally her name is presented as Aeris, even though it's actually supposed to be Aerith. As right. you can see, that's getting changed. In terms of who threatens to um, chop them off, that's Cloud who threatens to chop off. Uh, oh, it is Cloud. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, it was I could've, Yeah, I could have sworn hold that on. was Aerith. Yeah. yeah. Here's what happened Cloud threatens to chop them off, Aerith threatens to rip them off, and Tifa promises to do something even worse. Uh, yeah, she does. Yeah. I do like uh, the kind of bait and switch that between Aerith and Tifa because you think Tifa's the rough and tough one, but Tifa actually is kind of the more gentle one, while Aerith is kind of she's kind of a freak. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, that's so why. I, that's why I like Tifa. I like the basic bitch. She's not basic. Shut up. You like Daisy. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. You like Ooh. Daisy and Yang. Wait. Yeah, like I have Yang? a thing for tomboys. Shocker. One's a I side th hoe and the other's a plastic box. Wait, wait, wait. Dad, I thought you just liked Yang because she cracks puns. She does? What? 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 I love Pun puns. Puns are practically 50% of Yang's dialogue. I, I love puns. I feel like I'd remember that. But honestly, I don't really remember anything of Ruby. I mean, it's a mediocre show now, so whatever. Uh, yeah, I've heard a lot of people I don't, don't care. care for the, it nowadays. Also, uh, the main villain of the series is voiced by Princess Peach. Voiced by who? Princess, Princess Peach. Peach. What? Yeah. Wait, which which one? Salem. What? Yep. Mm -hmm. Huh. What is it, that, that white girl with the black irises? Yes. Yes. Huh. The one with the ever so tragic backstory that was recently revealed. Oh, Jesus Christ. Honestly, I just take it as an example that the guides. I, I, I honestly. I just don't care about Ruby anymore because I don't talk about it on Twitter. I mean, the character designs are pretty cool. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah. All, all I do is, is Twitter is like whenever I see Yang fan art, I'll retweet it, but that's about it. Like, I like Ruby's design. I yeah, feel like, she's cool. I, I feel like I missed the train to become really a fan of Ruby. Like, I know that it exists. Marcos was the one that got me into the series. I just found out about and, it on my own. And, and, for, and for that, he must pay. With his wow, life. Wow, that bad? No, 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 no. He, 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 well, for that, he must record Sonic 06 all by himself. Honestly, Sonic 06 is what I consider the commentator's rite of passage at this point. I thought it was Mega Man 2. Yeah. Mm. Or is that is that uh Oh, by the last way, no, decade? no, wait. We can't do 06 because if we do it, we'll be like, "Wow, we hate Sonic." What do you mean? 
Because apparently some people feel like, oh, if you do, uh, if any Let's Player does 06, it'd be like, oh, yeah, you get it? 06 is bad. Because, you know, it's there's no difference between a Let's Player playing a game that they love, that everyone has done to death, and doing a game that they hate, that everyone's done to death as well. We've all done it. Well, I mean, at this point in time... Y'all just... Se Y'all just... At this point in time, every single fucking Let's Play channel has done Mega Man X, Mario yes. World, uh, Sonic well, we haven't 2. done we haven't done a Mario game. Yes, I'll I know. Admit, my channel has not done Mega Man 2 yet. Hey, I mean, I'll give, you know, I'll give Blue Zone credit. Most of the games we've done are kind of like, you know, I, I joke about it, but I don't really see anyone talk about Hamtaro, Him Him Heartbreak. True, Mar yeah. Marcos did the Bugs Bunny uh, video game, but apparently that's connected to AVGN, so maybe not. Uh, no. I'm the, I recorded Chaos Mighty Gunfolk Verse, and no one, no one major. Let's play that. Yeah. It's like Marcos Heck. also did Friday the 13th for the NES. That's pretty obscure. Heck, we've done I, some pretty I, I, out I, I there stuff. I want to record uh, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie game. The one oh, that no one that's talks a good about. One. Really? Really? That one's actually a goodie. That's a pretty because good Because more people talk too. about Battle for Bikini Bottom. Yeah. Which is getting a remake with cut content. Sonic Boom! Ah, oh, yes. Two, the Let's two see, remakes are on. getting cut content. Sonic Boom! Yeah, okay, okay, okay. THQ Nordic are what I consider to be, like, the good guy Sonic version Boom! of Activision or EA. Except, that... except when it comes to social media. Oh, God. 8chan. That's it, aside from that. Oh, don't, even, don't even go there. I, I, I'm, I'm just saying. That's the old, because of that, people are like, oh, you're excited for Bad for Be Keen about them? Don't be, because of the 8chan thing. It's like, oh my god, guys. Sonic Honestly, hey, at least you're not the guy who hacked the Buffalo Wild Wings Twitter account. <laughs> Sonic Boom! <sighs> Never forget. Plus, plus <laughs> so cute that you inserted the Sonic Boom there. Yeah. I mean, we and just did it. And a Chaos Blast. We just did it, but not not a lot of people do Sonic Advance because it's just a one-off Game Boy Advance. Oh game. man, I so regretted missing out on that commentary. We 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 just need stuff to record. I mean, I'm I'll probably get to Advance Two sooner than later. I'd say out of the Advance. Do Mario game? Land One and Two. Why specifically Mario Land? Yeah, why not? Because they're short mm -hmm. and quick. Mario Land is like 20 seconds. Exactly. Although, I'll admit, it did give us the debut of Best Princess. Yeah, Daisy. I don't get you people. Uh, okay. Daisy okay. is essentially just okay. a much more interesting princess. Look, man, look, I don't I don't get why you have a shrine to a 17-year-old anime girl, but okay. You cut out, what did you say? I said, I don't get why you have a shrine to a 17-year-old anime girl, but okay. I, which one? Yeah, which one? Ryuku. I which one? Which Ryuku? There's so what? many Ryukus. Kill, a kill. She's 18. Ah, that one. And I don't, I don't have a shrine. If I have a shrine to anything, it's 21 in Samus. Android 21? Of course. Huh. Interesting. Even though she's five years old. Six. Yeah, she's, she's an adult. She's five years old. Yeah, That's you know who's also game. five. You know who's also five years old? XJ9. No, she. Oh yeah, yeah she, she, is. Is. she is. She is. She's five years old. Yeah. And then she got sent to kindergarten, remember? There's porn of her out the wazoo and she's five years old. So and, and fuck she, off and, and miss me with that bullshit. And, and she got sent to kindergarten, don't you remember? Yep. Oh, that show it, was good. Oh, yeah. Do you think X Shane and I would get along with X? Probably. I don't see why not. I think a fucking twig can get along with X. He's. I don't know, guys. I mean, it depends. If somebody gets easily annoyed, they may attack him when he whines about violence. They really flanderize his character. In which one? X7. Yeah. Because, okay, look. I get it. When you could you... argue his character well, no. was sort of working towards that, you know, having to deal with the constant fighting and stuff. I get it. Yeah, can wear on somebody's toe. Like... But to the point where he outright refuses to fight? That's no, that's lame. dumb. Yeah, that's why. Well, that, that was what they did with the Zero series. He's like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't care anymore. Uh, you know, again, for as much as people talk about how oh X Six ruined Inafune's plans or whatnot, I'm like, people, 
Maybe the man's oh, that parents reminds the me. Best. Since we're, I never could finish the Maverick Hunter story. So I remember it was supposed to be a trilogy, and it was supposed to end with Zero X being the bad guy and Zero taking him out. Because Inafune just can't let it go. Really? How are they even gonna do that with the Maverick Hunter series? Wait, not mean Maverick, Maverick Hunter. The, 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 no, I'm talking about the. The first-person sh shooter game. Oh, that, oh, that, okay. I thought you were talking about the remake. Yeah, I was gonna say. Which is also called Maverick Hunter. Yeah, because they did have a plan for that. They were going to remake the five uh, the five original X games with uh, Maverick yeah, Hunter. Yeah, and the X collection was supposed to redub, dub it, redub those cutscenes. What do you mean? From X4. But because oh, Alcuna right. kept pushing for the re re remake. Right. I was like, no. Trust me, guys, I mean, this will do well. No. Again, you know what's a shame? It's like, oh, Maverick Hunter was such a good idea, too. The voice acting is... It's really you know, good. You know, also... For a Capcom anyone, game about Mega Man, the voice acting is very did surprisingly good. Did anyone even know it existed? Even if we ignore the whole PSP. I did not I, I did. When it first came out. Yeah, I did. Okay. My friend had a PSP, and he told me there was a Mega Man game on it, so I got it. I'll admit, I did not really know about that at the time, so, yeah. What about you, Doge? No. I just blame ya. So, I, since... I, honestly, it's kind of hard for me to input the shuriken. Yeah, in, in general or just in this game? In general. Yeah, same, don't feel bad. It's uh, really we're, we're, not... Terrence, we're a disgrace to fighting game players everywhere. I think it just reminds us why Why do you think I play fighters? Because I don't casual. need to do that. Filthy. No, no, you still need to put in inputs. Yeah, but not that. Not this fucking Z double. I, I, I don't. Cross. You know not what? Maybe C2 double H two five. You would hate second. Oh. You know, wait, maybe that's why Hit's my favorite character because he's the most technical of the bunch. I mean, he's pretty fucking technical. Yes, he is. All right, you ready for this? I was actually I was talking about it with James earlier today. The fact that Jiren has two SH figure art models and Hit has none boggles the fuck out of me. Especially since people wait, how, does Japan like Hit? Uh, I believe Hit is the most popular character from Super in Japan. Ha ha. But Jiren is and flat out. All he just out. needs to do is reuse Perfect Cell Space Model. It, it's just Jiren <laughs> isn't popular in Japan. No one likes Jiren. But Jiren. He, he has two SH figure arts. He has Jiren. one regular and one with his shirt off. No, no, no. I can easily explain that. Jiren is a creator's pet. He is someone that they're trying to make a big thing. It ain't gonna happen. I feel like. If I remember correctly, uh, in an interview, Top was supposed to be, uh, he was supposed to be Jiren. And then, I think, uh, Toriyama No, 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 Jiren, Jiren, Top's personality was in Jiren. But then See, they were like, no. And what I can understand, the issue with Super is that Akira Toriyama is not actually the one at the forefront. He just makes a general idea. And then some random studio heads apparently are the ones who actually put together. He forgot he created Broly. Yeah, he did. He said that. I I'm, love Toriyama, gonna... but he don't give a fuck no more. I'll say it again. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Using Frieza for the Tournament of Power, I may be good. But using Frieza over Cell, the guy who literally has. Or Majin Boo. Oh, I mean, I love Tournament of Power, but that is one transgression I'll never forget. It's like, the Jesus universe Christ. It was universe... because of all that Boo Golden Frieza Matt, Matt merch that was sold. That's it. Boo is fucking cursed, because in GT, he just fucking dies. Uh, 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 also, and in Super, uh, he just gets also shafted. Also, Sigma's back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Who Maybe, you, know, you know what Toriyama needs to do? He needs to work on Chrono Trigger again. He needs to make another cat. No, he uh, needs to work on Chrono Trigger again. Like I said, though, apparently, from what I have heard, Toriyama is not even directly involved with Super. I mean, he's technically crafting out 
part of. Yeah, no, like he has plan. He, he's the one that comes up with the plans, but he has that one writer come up with like, here, here's what you do. Yeah, from what I remember, he pretty much, like you said, he makes the he makes the plot points and he says this, but then he goes to Toei and uh, he goes to Toei and Toyotaro and says, here are the plot points. Here's A and Z. How you get to it have is fun. up to you. <laughs> So you have cases like the manga being incredibly different, or the manga being slightly different. And some cases better, some cases worse. Some cases not as good. Because How about this the, Universe 6 Saiyans? I mean, I like Kale and Cauliflower. Yeah, I, um, no, I, only, I only like Kefla. They're, they're, that's Kale and Cauliflower, they're the same person. Well, fusions do sometimes. A, a kind piece of, of wood, characters. a piece of wood for form form into a log. <laughs> I like cauliflower because she's just a Saiyan. Oh, I'm no. surprised oh, wait, you wait, wait, don't. Wait. Because cauliflower is just a Saiyan tomboy. Yeah. I think the reason people aren't too fond of the Universe Six Saiyans is okay. So their base power is better, bigger than other Saiyans. Sure. But oh my god, can we, can we not talk about power right? levels? Yeah, I when it comes to Dragon Ball now, I don't care about power levels. I don't look, I'm just gonna but let's I'm gonna drop this Dragon Ball segue with this. Power levels were never meant to matter. It was the point the point was that the villains were underestimating the heroes. Yeah, that's I, it. I do not give Le about power levels because it's the same shit as it is in comics. In American comics. That's like no, fuck. You tell me Squirrel Girl can beat Doctor Doom? Fuck off with that bullshit. Oh yeah, she can because because uh, she's a gag manga character. She's yeah. a rally. Yeah, I think except not as interesting and boring. The only, the only character and ugly. who I know has ever beaten Squirrel Girl is Marvel's poster boy Spider Man, and that's just because he's Marvel's poster boy. So that kind of gives him the keys to be able to beat anyone, and I do mean anyone. Except the well, Flash. Spider Man oh. became God once. Jesus Christ. Hey, I'll admit, that was an interesting arc. Jesus Not Christ. God, specifically God, but a God. He got God powers. So, but like Batman? Like Bat-God? I feel I like know. every single fucking superhero has gotten God powers at one point. It was when he became Captain Universe. Also, I see what you're doing with that Wolverine soundtrack. Yeah. Actually, apparently his design's not based off Wolverine. It's someone, it's another God character, but whatever. Who cares? So, since we're on the finale, might as well cap off with a discussion that a lot of people are probably going to be having. So guys, what are the six fighters you want for the final DLC positions in Smash Bros. Ultimate? That was kind of an interesting segue you put it, but uh, honestly, I kind of don't really care. The one that I really want, if Crash is in it, that's cool. Other than that, I... I, I want Gino so everyone can finally be happy, and the meme and the meme about him sucking can finally die. The way I put it is that at this point I kind of don't really care, because especially with Smash Ultimate, Sakurai and his team have proven that they can make any character fun. Because True. with the with Even the a DLC, character you don't like, yeah. except the Belmonts, unfortunately. No, Belmonts are fun. No, 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 oh wait, I'm sorry. Competitively viable. You're talking, you're talking about fun. Sorry. Yeah, there's a difference Huge between difference. competitive because Joker isn't fun, but he's comp he's one of the best characters in the game. He fits mm -hmm. my place though. Ah, he's so fucking boring. I like. I just. Like I Persona Five. Ah. No. No, like the people who play Persona Five. They, and by yeah. play, you mean they make it their per entire personality. And, and watch Let's Plays on YouTube. <laughs> but it's like we're gonna I would get say, so much hate for us. <laughs> I don't give a shit. But it's kind of like before Smash Brothers. I never played an SNK game in my life. But Terry is so fucking fun. Ah, Terry you like is, his input commands, don't you? Terry is so fun, and I'm not just saying that just because his name is Terry. Like Look, he just, the only ca the only character I don't want. Is Cinderace. If he's fun, if he's in there, cool. But I just, I just, I don't want another Firestar. Considering, please, please. considering we got Byleth, I'll be very surprised if we don't get another Pokemon rep. We're, we if, are gonna get another Pokemon. In terms of characters aside from the obvious obligatory Pokemon rep, I would like Phoenix Wright. Really, do feel like he's got that coming for him, and he would really stand out. Master Chief, like talk about video game history there. Crash Bandicoot. 
Um... Gex the wall, Gecko. Oh, no. Hmm. That would be as an allotment for Square I mean, Enix. as much as Deji protests, I wouldn't... I, I would like Shantae. You know, yeah, yeah, I would like Shantae as well. And... If she's fun, I'll... I'll... I'll own up to my... I'll, oh. I'll take to you. Alright, well, you have it here, folks. This is, uh, footage. It's saved, so if, uh... I will... Unless, unless it gets the lead again, oh no! <laughs> yeah, you do that, I'll fucking strangle you. <laughs> oh, oh, what's that? Uh -huh. yes, did, you ever yes, take yes. A, did you ever take the metaphor of X and Zero being so close friends that Light and Wily were actually gay lovers? <laughs> you know the funny thing is... In the I couldn't Bound... say that with a straight face! You, you know in the Battle Network series, Dr. Wily and Dr. Wily get laid? Uh, yeah, they do. Don't, don't tell not, me that. Not to each other. I'm just don't. Saying. I don't want. I don't need the image of Doctor Light being naked. Well, he's not wrong. I mean, no, he, I know he's not because his grandson is Lan. Sons, grandsons, because Negaman .exe is also his grandson. Well, his stillborn grandson. Uh, Bound Network is stupid. <laughs> Uh, what? You mean uh, how Hub is actually living on as a yes, Navi? Yes, please stop. I forgot Mega Man EXE is the stillborn. Please, uh. Ugh. Fucking RPG games are weird. It. Okay, okay. Am I stupid? I mean. You want to know like, what's wow, sad, though, kinda... honestly? When you get down to it, the Battle Network and Star Force timeline is the happier one. Because there, Dr. Light's dreams are actually fulfilled. Whereas in this timeline, he, let's see, humanity gets wiped out, and their and their world's Mega Man is stuck on the moon because Legends Free is never gonna happen. Thanks for nothing, Capcom. Yeah, not that. I mean, you still have the missing link between ZX Avon and Legends. Well, Z. What about it though? I mean, ZX happens before Legends. No, but it's like there is some sort of fucking end of Ava shit that happens that completely wipes out humans from the planet. Oh crap! Maybe it's Ava herself that does it. In that case, way to screw things up, Ava. Wait, wh what are you talking about? I, I was, yours. I was making an anime reference. All the same, though, like. Dang, Jova, so is there a character named Ava in the ZX games? This. Hey. Wait. Wait, I f I feel like there is. Yeah. God, now this is gonna haunt me. Well, no, because the thing about ZX is that... There's ZX... an Ava units. <laughs> the thing about ZX fan. is that ZX takes place 100 years after the events of Zero. And that, and and that then, was uh, during a time of peace. And then ZX Advent takes place, I think, several years after ZX. And you have, like, Grandmaster Thomas, Grandmaster... Uh, Albert and Grandmaster, whatever Kazak's first name is. You know, the issue with ZX M is... M Malik? Mikhail? Mik Mikhail. Mikhail. You know, ZX just feels like an attempt to continue the Zero franchise well beyond its prime, if you ask yeah. me. Yep. I, I'm replaying the ZX, because I remember, kind of like what you said, playing the Zero series, I played the collection on the DS, and then I played uh, ZX and ZX Advent, I remember liking ZX and ZX Advent, and ever since I got the collection, I uh, I replayed ZX, and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, this isn't as good as I remembered. ZX is okay, okay, okay. Zero is like watching a musical Broadway show. You may not enjoy it fully, but it was fun the first time you saw it. ZX is like if it went into a much unneeded encore to the point where it outstays its welcome, and you're and you're just tempted to watch. So out if the I theater. went back to go see Spider Man Turn Off the Dark, oh, thought you had fun with that. Oh yeah, I, I did, but I'm pretty sure if I watch it again, I might be like, oh, mm -hmm. I might actually throw up. No, but it's like because at the end of ZX Advent, because you know. Uh, Doctor, whatever Albert was doing, he's he was the bad guy, and then it turns out that Thomas was also a bad guy. And it ends with him saying, "Albert was worried. This world needs to be rebooted." He turns into another JRPG villain. <laughs> yeah. So obviously, and since that was setting up a sequel that never happened, 
something Maybe happens. That's a good thing. Something happens between ZX Advent and Legends where humanity is pretty much reset. And there's Mega Man and <sighs> This is why I kind of fucking hate the Mega Man timeline. It's like I, I said. I mean, it's fascinating. Uh, like, same time, it's like, uh, why? It's like I yeah, said. but I also kind of don't like it because in the end, X and Zero are just all the things that they've done. They just turn into fucking souls. They turn into digivices. Pretty much. God damn. And it's like, who knows where the fuck Rock went? Either he got killed by Zero, or he, he did just, get killed by Zero. I want him to die by Zero. Then where the hell did he go? I want Zero to go insane and kill all the okay, robot look, masters uh, and Mega so, Man. So, here's the thing. When you get down to it, remember, Wily couldn't control Zero. But I think it's heavily implied that if Z- Wily never inv- installed that virus, how Zero acts now is how he would have been. It's the virus that made him go batshit insane. I yeah, that's what uh, I was. So assuming. zero, zero personality-wise, it's not a ruthless monster. No, the virus made him go insane. Yeah, the reason that, why he installed the virus was so he can so he can control him. So zero can't doesn't wouldn't kill anybody out of his own free will. Yeah, because the thing about Wiley is that Wiley is evil, but Wiley's not really, and he, he's also an idiot. That is true. <laughs> and, a, and a petty ass He bitch. lacks foresight. And everything that happens is all his fault. Yes, yep. that, that is that is actually He is his true. own worst enemy. That's why I feel like in the long term of things, Wily is a more dangerous villain than Eggman. <laughs> because he can be a dangerous No, 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 no. Himself. They're both the same because remember, Eggman never exists and Silver's future is always screwed. Well, Wily's actions have completely destroyed the whole Mega Man future. And Eggman's actions always destroyed the Sonic future every other day. Yeah, but uh, I was going to bring up 06, but 06 doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. But, fuck. But uh, no, the moral it, it, of the story no. is fuck time travel. And we're probably all going to die anyway by the cold death burning of the sun. No, no, no. It's it's going to be fire. We're all going to die by fire. Maybe we'll be killed by reincarnation of dinosaurs. Nah. Oh, wait, so it'll be like Jurassic World Part 2? <laughs> I haven't, I still haven't seen that movie, but all I just know is that there's a clone daughter, and that sounds stupid. Yeah, and then uh, it go- gets into the universe of Dragon Ball, because dinosaurs are living with people. And then they oh, kind of forget about it into, when they get into Z. Look, everybody knows that Toriyama wants to end it with the Saiyan song, even though that's not true, and shut up, stop making things up, and the Gohan wasn't supposed to be the main character. Be quiet, go home, get your <laughs> misconceptions out of here, go to sleep, good night, everybody. It wash was your fun. Hands. Yes, yes, wash, wash your hands, hands, keep your hands to yourself, do not push, put your hands to your mouth because i'm pretty sure this is going to be uploaded in like two weeks so this is still no no no, this is gonna gonna be uploaded this weekend all right so for the love of god wash your fucking hands hell even if this was released like a month later this would probably still be relevant also stop buying toilet paper it's not important please 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 i'm I'm running out of toilet paper paper at my job please stop stop ruining it please please this is all, right, all goodbye, the best everybody. PSAs to have for a Mega Man X2 playthrough.